Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.4, a great update coming in with more than 50 new features and changes and of course it will be released in a few days now at the beginning of April. We're expecting this update to be out for the public. So it has a lot of new features and changes even though it doesn't bring the new Siri features which were expected to come with this update. Actually those have been postponed now for iOS 19 but again it has some amazing features and in today's video i will show you guys 12 new things that you can do with your iphone on ios 18.4 and we're starting here with the great news for iphone 15 pro users so if you have an iphone 15 pro or the 15 pro max now you will be able to use the visual intelligence feature on your device once you update to ios 18.4 all you have to do is head on to the settings, go to action button, and then right here you will have a new button for visual intelligence, which allows it basically to use the action button to invoke this feature, which also can be invo invoked from the control center or the lock screen using one of the buttons on the lock screen, which is really amazing. Now here's another great new feature, this one of course available for all iPhone users on iOS 18.4. On the App Store, once you go to download an app, now you will have the ability to actually pause the download. You tap right there and you can see it turns into a resume button, you can go ahead and resume from there. Now what's really interesting is that you don't actually have a cancel button right here, so if I pause this, and then I just have the resume button. I don't have like a cancel button where I can completely cancel this download. To do that, you will need to head back to your home screen and from there cancel the download. Another great new feature on the App Store with iOS 18.4, this one is for users that have Apple Intelligence on their device, the review summary. So now you will see a summarized review of any app or game you're trying to download from the App Store. So once you go under the ratings and reviews, you will have the summary right there and you can see right here, it says automatically summarized from review. So basically it will take all the reviews done on that app or game and will show show you a summary of everything that people have left there as a review. Here's another great one, head on to your settings and then go under apps. Once you go here, we'll have your default apps and you will notice here a new app, the translation settings. So basically you will be able to choose the default translation app for your iPhone. Now currently I only have the default iPhone translate app installed, but if you have any translation app installed in your device, you will see them right here under this list, which again allows us to set a default translation app. What's even better, but this one is only for EU users, you will be able to also set a default maps app. Hopefully that someday will come to other users as well, currently only available on EU, but they will be able to actually even set a default maps app for their device. Now here's a great addition to Siri with iOS 18.4. Once you go to an app on iOS 18.4, if you double tap here to go to Siri, it will show you here a few suggestions. And then it says right here, you can see what can I do in settings. So if I tap that, it will basically show me here a list of different things that Siri can do in settings. And this will work with every app. All you have to do is just go to an app, just double tap there to invoke Siri or just basically called the word to invoke Siri and then it will show you a few different things that Siri can now do within apps. Now here's a great improvement on Safari. On iOS 18.4 when you go to Safari and you tap right there to search, you will now see your recent search right here. So everything that you have searched before, you can now of course go to one of them directly from here which is really cool. This is very similar to Google so when it basically saves the searches that you have done and you can research from there. So it's actually an amazing addition to Safari. Now you will have your recent search right here and you also have a clear button for whenever you want to just like clear everything that you have searched for. And with iOS 18.4, Safari also now lets you see everything that you need to know regarding the security details of every website that you visit. So once you go to the website, you just tap on the menu right here. And then all you have to do is just tap the three dots and you will have right here connection security details. And it will show you every security detail you need to know about the connection with that website. 
And what's really cool for the control center, you can notice right there the toggle for the Wi-Fi. The same goes for the seller data as well. They now actually show the strength of your connection. So if you have like two bars, it will also show here that you have two bars and not just show like the full bars like it used before. So now it basically represents the strength of your connection. And with iOS 18.4, we also have a few additions right here for the toggles. Now, if you just go here, we'll have Apple Intelligence and Siri. Now you can type to Siri, talk to Siri, and also invoke visual intelligence directly from the control center. You can now add them these buttons and of course make them bigger or smaller, however you like them. And you don't even need to actually use the action button if you want visual intelligence or double tap here to talk or type to Siri. All you have to do is just basically use the toggles from the control center. Moving on to the mail app, so head on to the settings, go to apps and go to mail, and now you will have here a new option, which is really cool. Delete or move messages action. If you go here, you can view the next message. So whenever you delete an email, it will just go down to the other email or don't select a message, which means that it will take you back to the inbox or the folder you're in. So you will have now this option. Previously, it used to just automatically send you to the next message. Now you can choose what you want to do after you have deleted an email. And Apple has done a great job here with just changing this on the dynamic island. Now on your device on iOS 18.4 won't actually show the usage dots on the dynamic island here, which looked really ugly. Sometimes it showed right here on the corner, sometimes here. It was a complete mess. Now they have their own spot right there. So whenever an app is using, whether your camera, your microphone, it will actually show that dot right there just besides the dynamic island, which in my opinion looks way, way better. And on the Photos app, you will now have the ability to actually switch between a few different filters that Apple has added. You tap right there, go to filter, and you will have two new filters added to iOS 18.4 to the Photos app. Not in an album, you tap that, it will remove all the pictures that are added automatically to an album. So you only see the photos that are not part of any album on your device and then also shared with you. So if you just wanna see the images that have been shared with you, you tap that button and it will filter out all the other photos. So that's basically it for this video guys. Again, iOS 18.4 is a great update. It is coming out really soon, most likely at the beginning of April. So maybe right here somewhere on the 7th of April will be the date that Apple releases iOS 18.4 to the public. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.